Greetings Pisces and Pisces Rising. This is your Western forecast for January 2025. In my yearly forecast, I talked about the four outer planets, um, all changing signs, and but it'll take until July, August for them to have changed signs and be in harmony with each other. So the first six months, um, there could be this anxiety, this nervousness that a lot of things are changing, but where is it all going? Um, when July, August, when they now have shifted into all the different signs and in harmony with each other, it's the beginning of starting to feel more hopeful about the future. But there was a fifth planetary transition that I wanted to wait to talk about it in January. Because the first six months, there's going to be a lot of this anxiety because of all a lot of changes in the world. But it wants to get better by July, or it's gonna to start to slowly look like it wants to get better by July and August. But January 2025, the karmic north node goes into Pisces. This happens every 18 to 19 years. And the karmic north node changes signs every year and a half. Um, and it is brings in a lot of uh, compelling one to embrace all new approaches. Um, it triggers a lot of karmic challenges or challenges that seem like it's karmic, like it's meant to be, to compel you to move down a new path. Wherever the North Node is transiting, it is amplifies. Well, it is in Pisces. It's either your rising sign or your sun's sign that the karmic north node after ne almost 19 years is going to start to amplify your sign, your, your visibility, your leadership, your confidence. Um, and Venus will be in its exalted sign of Pisces um, in January. More on that later, because that's really beautiful energies. But if you've been watching my monthly videos, I like to start with, where's the new moon? And the new moon is going to be in Capricorn um, on December the 30th. Um, Capricorn is, th is 11 signs past Pisces. So what is being highlighted because of the new moon, wherever the new moon falls is where your attention, your priorities, are the main priorities for the entire month till the last couple of days of January. So the 11th house on a, on a broader level means you're gonna to start to being really focused on your long range goals and dreams and aspirations. On a more personal level, it's more social, um, more networking, uh, more maybe hanging out more with events and friends and parties because that's all that 11th house of teamwork, uh, friendships, of organizations. Now, the, um, the new moon is on the 30th of December and two weeks later is the full moon. And the full moon is going to be in emotional cancer um, in your fifth house of creative expression, romance, children. But it's going to be really anxious and disruptive energy for a couple of days because the full moon in emotional cancer is almost exactly aligning with inpatient irritable Mars in cancer and in and retrograde to boot. But before I start to break all that down, um, if you enjoy these kinds of videos and would like to see more of them, click like 
and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. All right. So on the new moon, December the 30th, you could be doing a lot of thinking about the, about the whole, what you want through the year, what you may want over the next several years, because the new moon is in that 11th house that focuses on the future. But it's also the 11th house of community, group activities, friendships. So you might also be really thinking about how to be more social, how to get out there, how to do more networking. Now, the, the full the full moon is two weeks after the new moon, and I already talked about all this disruptive energies because of the Mars. So the Mars went, if you listen to my videos in December, the yearly, Mars is the impatient, aggressive, um, courageous warrior planet. And Mars goes retrograde once every two years. And Mars went retrograde in the sign of Leo on January the 6th, or December, December the 6th, 2024. By January the 6th, 2025, as the Mars is retrograding, it's retrograding going backwards out of Leo into Cancer. And it's, but it's going to remain retrograde till February the 23rd. Then it goes direct. So now on the 23rd, um, remaining in Cancer till April the 17th. On February the 23rd, it's releasing all its stuck, frustrated energies. It's feeling more confident, more focused, more objective to achieve your goals. February 23rd to April the 17th in your fifth house. Now, Cancer, which is five signs in Cancer, it's five signs past Pisces. So that's why the Mars for the first three and a half months, assertive, aggressive, ambitious Mars is highlighting your fifth house. Fifth house is positive for Pisces overall you want to get out of that retrograde, which could be have you spinning your wheels or feeling impatient or irritable. But some of the themes of the fifth house are creative expression, um, children, but you could also be giving birth to a creative project. The fifth house is um, romance. It is parties and playfulness. Um, being it deals with children, you could be acting more like a child, being bringing your inner child out to play. And to play, you might start wanting to be more involved with sports and recreational activities. Now, you might be feeling stuck in those areas while it's retrograding, but February 23rd, it releases the stuck energies. So all these fifth house matters till the middle of April is really going strong and confident. Now, Venus is in Pisces um, through January. Venus is, goes through all the signs once a year, this January, it's hanging out for most of the month in Pisces. Um, now, Pisces is the exalted sign for Venus, meaning that Venus can give its best results when it's in Pisces. And for Pisces and Pisces rising, it's going through your sign or your rising sign. Um, this can be a, a very social, very popular, very romantic, very creative. Now, the karmic north node amplifies everything and it's in your sign or your first house. So some very important, almost will seem like it was meant to be in karmic, is pulling you into these new directions, more visibility, new beginnings, new take charge. And it'll be there for a year and a half. But for, but for January, the Venus is in Pisces 
being amplified by the karmic north node and Pisces. So all things that Venus can represent, creative projects, falling in love, you know, more visibility and leadership, recognition, maybe fame, all of that can be really intensified. And with Mars in the fifth house, it could be entertainment and creative projects that are really intensifying that you're kind of dabbling and planning with in January. But certainly um, having your inner child come out to play or maybe um, giving birth to a child or working on creative children projects. Um, so just looking here, um, the Venus in Pisces, in your sign or rising sign, you're going to be more attracting more people to you. You're going to feel more attractive. You're going to be feeling more beautiful, but you're going to also be in this very social, charming, romantic flow of energies. And Venus in Pisces is a water sign. It's going to be in harmony with aggressive physical Mars in Cancer, a water sign. So there's a lot of creative and or romantic energy that's trying to awaken. So maybe when we're, you're going through this transition with these four outer planets waiting to change signs by the next six months, that you could be working on um, being pregnant, working on uh, developing a creative project, working on um, falling in love and developing a serious relationship. So there could, you could be this developing this whole new uh, kind of creative, romantic, social energies that may take six months for you to feel um, much more confident and secure with all these possibilities. But I don't know. I think January, a lot of you could be feeling very hopeful and dreamy and romantic about all these creative and romantic uh, desires. I want to thank you for watching. If you like information on how to book an astrology reading or check out my two question offer, visit my website at gardino.co. That's .co. Until next month, be safe and well.